Welcome to my house. I am Frumpy Buckle and you are fishing with Uncle Buck. In today's episode, I'm still out at Emerald Lake in New York, so we're going to we're going to complete the missions over there. We're going to complete the Emerald Trial. I used to think that they misspelled that and they meant trail, but I guess it's trial. We're going to complete the trial. That's the Pike family. We're going to get all four Pike there, which will in turn complete the Emerald Frankenbait mission which is to catch all the pike family and then you get the bait for the pike slayer which is a monster perch that lives in this lake so we're going to get all that completed today and the only thing that's not on the film is actually catching the pike slayer slasher i tried to catch him again after i'd already caught him i haven't been able to catch him twice but i'm going to let you know where i got it okay so without any further ado Let's go on over. I'm still there. So let's go over and meet me in New York and we'll finish this mission up. Alrighty, I'm back. Now, I got my sticks all rigged up with small minnows on them because we're going after the pike. And as you can see, I changed from this direction where we were fishing for the panfish. Now, there's lily pads out there on the edge. You can catch the redfin pickerel out there. You can catch the bat grass pickerel out there also. But this works pretty good over here because there's trophy redfins in here. So if you're going to catch them, you might as well catch the big ones, right? So we've got minnows on here. So we're just going to throw a few lines out here and there. Put the minnows on. Put one over in that section over there. Okay, let's see. That was soon. I think it's seven that we need here. There's a small middle on there. This is. We put that right there in the middle. All right, put him down. I think six is our next one with small minnows. We got him flipping for the other ones. Let's go ahead and put him right in the middle over there. Oh, that's a little long. He might be on a lily pad. Yep. Yeah. Let's pull him a little bit. Now we got him in the middle. Let's put him down and wait. Well, I guess we're not waiting. There's the first one. Alrighty, there's our grass pickerel. We'll get him out of the way. Get him loaded back up and get him in there. Oh, look, there's fish jumping all over the place over there. Yeah. That's how the radio going on here. All right. No, oh, probably won't be long. I knew it wouldn't be too long at all. Park in what we got now? Oh, yellow perch. Okay, he likes minnows too. Let's check. Where are we at? 20 inches. That's where we want to be. Good deal. Alrighty. Rock and roll, boys. Hey, somebody's knocking on the door with the dance with Buck. We oh, got it. Where's my red fin? That's nothing. What is that? I lost him. Bummer. All right. That's not good. Buck. What's he doing? Look at all the waves over there. You're crazy. Look now. Now you got this guy all pissed off. There we go. Oh, there's a big one. What do we got? Another grass pickle, probably. Yep. All right, that's not my red fin. We're going right in the front on this one for the red fin. Oop, that's a little long. Okay, we're going in the back. I meant to do that. <laughs> I don't even get to keep click the pause before they start yapping at me again. Okay, what do we got here? Yeah, we might, oh, go away, little guy. 
Let the big guys up. There we go. See what happens now. Here we go. We got one here. Who is it? Oh. And there's our red fin pickerel. We needed him. And I know those are the guys that are in there. So let's just grab this other one real quick before he gets crazy. Did I miss him? Nope. Oh, get out, Mark. Another red fin. I knew they were in there. All right, that gets that off the list. Let's get these sticks back in the water. Okay, we got another one dancing. Let's see who's here. Now this one I threw a little deeper. I threw behind my kayak into the corner close to the dock. And it's just a trophy butt cut. Let's see. Let's get this guy in here. He's having a fit of uh, something. And for what? No reason. Not a fact. Another red fin pickerel. All right, we're still looking for that northern pike and the chain pickerel. All right, let's get loaded back up. Okay, for these last two pike, the northern pike and the chain pickerel, I've moved over to the dock because there are a lot more in abundance over here against these weeds. And I'm going to show you where I'm going to throw my poles in. What we're basically going to do is we're going to throw in. Right over here and right along this area right here. Just throw a couple poles in right here and we should have these two guys in no time. So let me get my sticks in the water and we'll be right back. Alrighty, we got one on. Let's see who it is. A boat's in the way. A walleye. Well, we needed him, so that just gets him off the list. I don't have to show you where to go find them. <laughs> He's kind of nice. All right, that's not what we were looking for at the moment, damn it. But we'll go with it. Why not? Let's just throw him out there. Wait a minute. How deep is this? Let's check this. 22 inches. No wonder I got a walleye. We need to get that down to about 36 inches or so. A little deeper, let's throw him out there, and we'll be right back. As soon as one of these bad boys latches on. Well, that didn't take long, now, did it? <clears throat> I didn't even get the pole in the holder. Where we got it? Uh oh, no game right Maybe I can make this one. Well, it's a grass pickerel, and we already have him. We need a chain pickerel. If they're in there, oops, I put that in the wrong spot. Let's put that one down there then, and let's grab this guy, because he's yakking. Oops. That doesn't look like nothing we want. And it is. Boy, is he a little guy. But, he counts. That's the northern pike. Got him off the list. We'll keep him, and we'll get out there and get that chain pickerel. All right. so there we got it. We got our chain pickerel. <clears throat> Finally, eight twenty-three in the morning. But, that takes care of him. Now, <clears throat> we got one more fish to get. Let's get him back in the water. I have never been able to catch this fish from the shore. I just haven't been able to do it. Uh, I don't know if some guys have done it, but 
The only place that I know of to catch the sauger is you gotta take the boat. So, we're gonna take the boat. Um, let me put my gear away and we'll be right back. All right, our gear's put away. Let's, let's go get this guy. Pay attention to the depth finder there. And this is the walleye hole. Something with a mineral on it. There's our Arctic Five. We'll just use them. We want to go check our. That's where 49. Let's go down to 54. We'll just throw right in there. Let's see what he is. And there's our sauger. Mission complete. That's all we needed. So, with that being done, now it's time for a little show and tell. All right, I can't fish for the pike slasher. I can show you where I caught him, show you how I caught him. <clears throat> We'll go from there. So let's take a look at that real quick. Let's put this pole away. Right. Let's just take a little... It takes a little bit of time this way, but there's no need to fire up a damn big old 250 horsepower engine. For no reason at all. There we go. Alright. So. Whoop. Go away, Thomas. See what we got there? Let me get out of the way for a second. That's where the pipe slasher lives. Okay. Let me take... That's my Arctic's right there. That's what I caught him on. Show you right where I got it. Right there. We're gonna 
just gonna throw them out for you. That's it. That's where I nabbed them at four o'clock in the morning. And some guys have said that they've caught them in the daytime. I've noticed on this lake, if you're after the pike slasher, the best time, and I've, <clears throat> I came here without this pole the first time. I latched onto him about three or four times. And he just broke my shit, left and right. And I was like, okay. And I always, I always latched on to him between four and five in the morning. So, uh, s some people said that they've they've caught him during the day. I never, I couldn't get him during the day. But anyway, that's where you want to go for him. Now, next thing, just to end this video because it's just going to be a little bit of a teaser. I want to show you a little bit about farming here and I'm going to put another video together about farming this lake I'm actually going to do it as soon as we're done so let's uh let's get back Yes, I did. No, I didn't. There we go. All right. To do my line. Now you can you can do it from from here. You can see those. But I don't. I just do not like the fish from here. It doesn't work as well for me because. Of the, the contours of the big hole that I showed you out there that big hole isn't over here when you drag through to the bottom so we're gonna run over back over to where we started from the pan fish you too all right now we're gonna get ourselves positioned real good here Well, our rod stands down. Oh, we're in the red. It's getting the green. Okay, there's the three markers right there. Put him in down there. All right, now let me get some. What we're gonna do? We're gonna get a few poles out there. We're gonna we're gonna actually use our arctics right here. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the the quiver tip on the all around. We're not gonna use. I'm gonna use that later, but. And we'll throw out everything we can throw out right now. And I want to show you how to grab some of these walleye and where you can, how you can farm them. So, <clears throat> let me get my poles ready to go. We'll be right back. <clears throat> okay, I'm back. <clears throat> I got four poles out there with a combination of leeches and small minnows on them. And I'm going to try to show you. If it gives me a chance, I picked an off-peak time so it wouldn't, because normally all four poles light up, and you're just fighting four fish at a time constantly. But, we'll see how it goes here. All I did was drop one in at each one of my marks, and I'll throw my map up once I pull these all in, and you can take a look at the coordinates. You can put your own marker boys out there. Come on, hurry up. And these are all poles that I mean, I have one or two poles out here, and that's a black crappie, and we don't even want him. He ain't no damn walleye. Get off my hook, dude. Okay, now I got leeches on this pole. Now, leeches are a hot bait up here. Leeches, and they're cheap, and night crawlers, very cheap. Now, small minnows are a little bit more, but rainy days night crawl don't even bother with the small minnows or anything else just leeches and night crawlers if it's raining on you okay there's a the walleye 241 this is a little heavier pole so i didn't get a lot of xp there we grab one on one this this was one of my sport poles so we'll get him back out there Alright, put him in three, and we're 
missing a pole, so let me go find which one I'm missing, for Christ's sakes. Okay, we're back with another one here. I didn't even get my other pole. Didn't even have time to get it back in the water. And there we go. There, now we're starting. And we'll get him right back out there. And we have still not hit peak time. It's still only 9.34 in the morning. Yeah, if we take a look. We haven't even hit the peak yet. So, we're in good shape. Let's wait a little bit. We'll see what happens next. Well, I don't even know why I pushed the pause button. They ought to know better than this. But this is how it works here. Come on, hurry up. I got a bigger guy yelling at me. He wants to dance. All right. We'll take that while I 248 bucks. Alright, I'm coming. I'm coming. There we go. It's pretty much as fast as you can get your poles back in the water. You're pulling another walleye in. This is farming. Uh, yep. What we got now? We just started. There's none of them panfish that we caught mounted too much. And now we're catching the walleye. 248, 159, 241. Looking good. Looking good. So this is the point of farming, guys. Uh, you come here, get the right bait, hit the right spots. You can get these missions done pretty quick. Now remember... Just remember one thing. When you come after that pike slasher, I think it's five. Here's what you gotta have. The Arctic 13-2, 25 Hooked up with a double punch, 4,500. You'll nail him. Now, I got him in my kayak. He drugged me all over that lake for a while. It was fun. But, I got him. Alright. So that clears our missions. We got two of them out. Oh, I wanted to talk about the Emerald Knight Challenge. That's, that's another mission that's here. And it's basically catching fish at night. Ten fish is all you got to catch. And it's very important that you stay and do that. Fish through the night. Because if You'll catch 10 walleye here in no time. You can farm these guys at night. It, it really doesn't even matter about the peaks. You'll catch your 10 fish at night. You get the hat with the flashlight on it. Now you, can, now you can fish at night the rest of the game. And you got the critter. Okay? So, by doing the second mission, you should have got the Franken bait. It allows you to go after the monster. I gave you the gear that you need to get the monster. I showed you where you can get him. So have fun. Drop me a line. Say, hey, Buck, helped out. All right. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you got anything good out of this, as you know the routine, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe. I got a couple more videos out. I'm going to do a video specifically on farming to get more intense into what we just touched on right here. So until then, I'll see you again. Tight lines and never give up the fight. Listen to the cricket sing, the rattle of an old chain. Listen to the south bound breezes creeping through the trees and the creak of the weather vane. Sitting on chairs, sitting up a little prayer. I need some answers to.